hey guys welcome to my channel house of fortune and roses so we have a new moon in capricorn coming up tomorrow okay so those of you capricorns out there um this reading might resonate um extra hard okay so the topic for today is why are you single okay so i don't want to think want you guys to think about this in a negative way but more so in a positive way like if there's anything you know i can learn from this um you know take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind also before we start i must state a very quick disclaimer that all my videos and tarot readings are ultimately for entertainment purposes only i see both tarot and astrology as just ways to get to know yourself better also um if you could just take a moment before we start to like comment subscribe and share if this video resonates with you i'd greatly appreciate it um, also, if you want to be notified when I upload new videos like this one, please um, make sure to hit that notification bell. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I'm going to count down from 10. That's going to give you 10 seconds to decide between the four piles. Um, and if you're unsure, you can always pause the video, place your finger on the screen. Wherever you feel the most heat through your finger on the screen is going to be the pile for you. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and if you didn't want to hear all that, you can skip to the timestamps uh, pinned in the comment section below as well as the info box. Okay, so those of you guys who chose pile one, um, I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way and then we can get started on that. Okay. Okay, so those of you guys who've chosen the first pile, we have the um, we have this watch here. Um, so this is a um, kind of like a really old vintage uh, Belova watch. Um, I think it needs to be a little cleaned actually. Okay, so let's get into the reading. So why are you guys still single? Why are you guys still single? Let's really let's just get straight into it. Let's see, you guys. Okay, so we immediately have like three that really wanted to come out. So we have here the Three of Cups. We've got um, Justice, okay. We have the Six of Wands. Oh, wow, this is really great. Okay, so from this, I gotta be honest, you guys. I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are still single because you i'm getting here you guys have like a really maybe even a tight-knit family or maybe even like a group of people or like um some kind of group uh that you associate with that it could be even like maybe if you're from a certain culture or maybe you're like a part of a certain group like whether it's through school or some kind of like association or maybe it's just like a group that you associate with i'm getting that you guys tend to not really go outside of your comfort so much um with justice i'm getting here that um like she's like kind of like she's seeing things um from above the ground but at the same time she's kind of like it almost looks like she's stuck in the tree which i don't think that's the case um but she is and she looks a little um isolated maybe um that's like by choice as well okay so and then we have the six of wands here so i'm getting ultimately this is a card of victory you guys really like if you put in just a little bit of effort i'm seeing that it's gonna pay off huge like even if you just like change like one little routine or go outside of your comfort zone even just like change things up a little bit it's gonna go a really long way and you guys are going to start seeing options like really really um suitable options around you not just like people that you're kind of like eh, i don't know if i would date them but like people that you actually see a future with okay like maybe even ideal for you maybe even like two or more options will start appearing around you but i am seeing here that the reason why ultimately you guys are single is you don't really put yourself out of your comfort zone 
and um this doesn't have anything to do with like putting yourself in dangerous situations like obviously please avoid that you guys um but this has more to do with like um maybe being in the same environment all the time like around the same people around the same like kind of people especially um a lot of you guys i am seeing that maybe you can um benefit from if not like traveling like just putting yourself in new environments that are obviously safe like maybe even going out and i highly recommend um like joining groups where you have things in common uh with those people but maybe it's like a different group okay than you normally associate with so i'm saying here um try to be more open-minded okay because that's really coming through so strong um being open-minded putting yourself in new environments maybe even traveling okay if you can and just like uh, maybe opening your mind a little bit more to like different types of people like that you still have maybe something in common with okay when it comes to values but um it's like different from your usual like types of people um that you surround yourself with i'm seeing that because here i'm seeing that it's almost like um you're stuck in almost like a pattern of just being around the same environments the same kinds of people all the time and it's kind of like limiting you i'm seeing here it's limiting you a lot and this might be by choice as well like i said um maybe you are choosing to be alone maybe you're an introvert um but i am seeing here like even just a little effort to like change up your routine or like i said go outside of your comfort zone like outside of the box that you're normally in is going to pay off huge okay um so let's try to get some more information though um that was pretty in depth but i do want to go maybe even more in depth okay let's see give us some more information please some more information oh my gosh you guys okay so we have the two of cups here so i'm seeing here that like i said you guys are like even if you just change up your routine or be just a little open-minded or try a little bit to you know change up your routine like if you're always going to the same places at the same time every day like i really don't think that um you're putting yourself out there enough but once again always um keep safety in mind but i'm seeing here that you guys are destined for like a great love like you know um it's a little cliche but like the notebook or titanic i mean those are all a little bit um tragic i mean at least with the titanic so um but let's not think of the tragedy um it's more so you know the um theme around the greatest love you know like mm, like the greatest love of all time like those kinds of romances you guys are really destined okay to meet someone like a soulmate and i don't know some of you guys you might be like um i don't really believe in soulmates but here i'm seeing that it doesn't necessarily matter if you believe or not although if you really do believe that there's at least like two maybe even three okay or more but two or more people out there that can potentially be your soulmate because i believe that there's not just like one soulmate i believe that there's like at least a few people out there that can be your potential soulmate because um the world is so huge there's billions of people so let's just be real um but i am seeing here that yeah you guys are destined for a great love some of you guys you have really beautiful hair okay like maybe your hair is like an interesting color um you guys have a very like elegant appearance um you're very sophisticated okay that's what i'm getting for sure okay um you're very i, th I think you guys are very elegant okay so let's get further into the reading so i actually have some more cards here that I want to utilize to try to see if we can get even more information for you guys okay let's see what else do we have okay some information for group one okay yeah so we have calm so some of you guys i see that you've been maybe anxious okay about being single or maybe that's been on your mind a lot more lately but i am seeing here that being anxious and being you know nervous and I don't know why I keep hearing, just take a deep breath, like breathe in, hold for like five seconds at least, breathe out, okay, because calm is really going to help you, because when you're like anxious, and when you're thinking about like, you know, constantly questioning everything, like why this, why that, and seeing here that that's not really going to help in the situation, more so being calm, and kind of like aligning yourself with the energy of being peaceful you know like even if you are single at this moment that could change at any moment okay like even three months from now like you could be in 
you know, dating somebody really great or even in a really amazing relationship already. So just I'm getting prepared, but don't do it in a way that is like um, anxious. Okay. Do it in a way that's just like calm. Okay. Like enjoy yourself, maybe, um, pamper yourself, like try out, um, some really great, uh, beauty routine. Um, you know, I'm getting like Venusian energy with like the dried flowers and everything. Um, I'm hearing maybe like treat yourself to some flowers. Okay. Like if you can, like maybe pick some or buy some flowers for yourself. Um, you know, maybe drink some tea, like your favorite tea. I recommend decaf because caffeine tends to, um, amp up our anxiety sometimes um so yeah just take a moment for yourself um pamper yourself maybe even i'm getting um envision yourself as beautiful okay feminine for those of you guys who are masculine obviously you can flip it around okay the energies um but yeah i mean definitely yeah think of yourself as beautiful enjoy your uh the venusian aspects of, about yourself which is creativity beauty femininity um as well as yeah calm peace okay um interesting and flowers i don't know why flowers and tea okay obviously are coming through here um maybe some of you guys you might even get flowers okay from someone um soon okay or from uh someone that you date next okay you might get flowers i'm getting i'm also getting that you guys are destined for a very emotional okay love some of you guys you might have a lot of i don't know why uh from these cards i'm getting that you guys have a lot of water in your astrology um scorpio pisces cancer or maybe the person who is coming into your life has a lot of water okay in their astrology so once again um scorpio pisces cancer and there's some rising venus mars jupiter um so you know very sensitive very emotional feels very deeply um you don't have to have like a lot of water in your astrology to be this way or maybe the person like i said is uh, who's coming in they might be creative you might be creative as well you might um bond over the fact that you're both um very creative people okay and then we have the two of diamonds so with the two of diamonds i'm getting that you guys have a high chance of meeting someone like i said um you know, pursuing something of a new interest, okay, putting yourself in a new environment, maybe even I'm getting with the diamonds, um, this could be um, at like a professional networking event, um, maybe like if you guys are creative, like going to like, um, like a like a group event that involves creativity like maybe even like an um, art class or maybe like a group event okay for like cre uh, creators artists okay maybe even musical people some of you guys are musical um but i am also seeing here that some of you guys you might meet uh, someone really great or maybe even like your soulmate maybe even two or more you might have lots of options you guys but i'm getting you might meet them um in a professional setting um i'm not necessarily getting this as like their co-workers they could be um but i'm also getting like maybe this could be like at your workplace um you know maybe even like a new workplace who knows um if some of you guys i don't know why i'm getting that you guys are kind of like getting getting tired of your current workplace but maybe even like somewhere new or maybe even like you meet somebody through a co-worker or maybe even the this is like uh, at your workplace, like somebody in a different department, okay? Um, but I am getting something to do with professional um, networking or like something to do with pursuing something you're passionate about when it comes to like a trade or some kind of interest that involves creativity or something that um, is involved with business. So hmm, some of you guys, this might resonate. If you put yourself in new business settings, okay, or not necessarily like businesses and like work, but like areas, okay, maybe around your city or wherever you are, that um, there's a lot of like business people or it's kind of like a businessy environment, like maybe a lot of people who are professionals, like maybe they go to this place, like even if it's like a coffee shop or a bar or whatever it is, I'm getting some of you guys, you're gonna have luck, okay, in places like that where there's a lot of commerce. This could even be like, um, with trade commerce, this could even be like, you know, even a bank or something. Like, there's something to do with a bank. I don't know. Like, there's something to do with maybe you guys meeting somebody at a bank, or maybe the person that you meet in the future could work in finance. Maybe some of you you guys work in finance or even interest in finance. Okay, um, there's definitely something to do with, and also putting yourself in environments that are more, um, like at your level or higher is really coming through really strongly, okay, is really going to be benefit beneficial for a lot of you guys. 
Um, so I'm going to get another card here and see what else we can get for group one, please. Okay, so here we have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, more like Pentacles energy. Some of you guys, you might have Earth in your chart or the person. I'm more so getting from the other person, but it could be you as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you're someone rising Venus, Mars, Jupiter, or yours. I'm getting some of you guys... Yeah, like the more you expand your network professionally and put yourself in situations that are new, like a new routine, whatever it is, but like more upscale environments. I'm not saying like spend a ton of money that you don't have on like um, a really, you know, posh like gym membership where like only like wealthy people go. But I am saying, yeah, like seek out um, professional networking opportunities, okay? Like in your area, put yourself in... Uh, situations where you're surrounded by people who are, you know, kind of up there because I'm getting, there's something to do with you really, um, yeah, like finding some luck, okay, in places like that. Um, I know that's really specific, but I, that might resonate for some of you guys, okay? Um, so that's actually not all, you guys. I'm going to be rolling these dice to try to get some astrological energies and uh, astrological energies for group one, please. That might resonate. Okay, so here we have Scorpio. So some of you guys, you might have Scorpio. They might have Scorpio. Um, they meaning like one of your soulmates. Um, we also have Taurus, which is the opposite. Okay, I'm getting, I don't know why I'm hearing opposites attract. So the person that you attract, like you might have something in common. Okay, whatever that might be. But you guys are also opposites in some way. Which once again, I just want to stress, remember being open-minded. Like um, maybe like looking outside of your usual type. Like you know, the person that you seek out doesn't have to be like not your type, but they can be maybe like different in some way. Maybe it's like what they do, what they look like, um, you know, who they hang around or maybe where they hang around could be completely different. Okay. From where you are now or where you, the situations that you put yourself in now. And then we have Jupiter. So yeah, some of you guys, uh, Jupiter, okay, is the planet of luck, uh, wealth of abundance. So like I said, put your, try to put yourself in environments where there's a lot of luck, abundance, and a lot of prosperity, um, maybe even wealth. Yeah, like why not? Like uh, like I said, in your area, um, maybe I'm not trying to say like um, be a poser, you know, like go like go to like the country club and like pretend that you're like, you know, some wealthy heiress, like um, that movie. What was that movie recently? With the documentary about like that German uh, girl who like pretended to, pe to be like a really, really rich heiress and then she ended up like scamming um people in new york drop a comment down below if you know what documentary i'm talking about but that was like pretty big on netflix i think but anyways i went off on a tangent but um nevertheless put yourself in um yeah environments that are maybe a bit more upscale than you're used to and i think you're going to learn from these environments you might you know even if you don't meet the person that you're looking for or maybe you do uh or maybe even like a couple people or more okay you might meet um but i'm getting here that you might learn something from those environments okay that are new um that are a little more upscale uh more cultured okay than um than usual so that was wonderful uh like comment subscribe share if this video resonated with you guys and please hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted when i upload new videos like this one so i will see you guys later group one love and light Okay, with that, I'm going to move straight into group two. So, group two, let's see what we have for you guys. Okay, so for group two, you guys have chosen um, this deck here, and then you've chosen this uh, beautiful vintage uh, Gucci watch. Okay, very, very, uh, very cute, very pretty. Okay, so let's just put this here. And let's see what we have. So why are you guys still single? Why are you guys still single? Okay, let's see what we have for group two. Okay, these are a little difficult to shuffle, I gotta say. Um, bear with me. Okay, this one definitely wants to come out. Okay, we have the Valet de Paton. I think I'm, I'm butchering French right now. Okay, I don't speak French, so... Um, let me know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Um, but here we have, I believe this is the Knight of Wands. It's either the page or the, the knight. Okay, we'll figure that out. Okay, 
but it is either the page or the knight of wands okay and then we have uh le Mans. we have the world i like to just try to pronounce these even though i can't speak french and then we have the five of cups okay bottom of the deck we have the empress wow gorgeous okay so just from looking at this i'm seeing here that um you guys You guys are likely single because I think you guys ide idealize a certain type, okay? Um, you guys have really high standards. And maybe you guys can afford to have really st high standards because you yourself are really like stylish or attractive. I'm getting a lot of attractive energy from you guys. Even if you don't think so, you guys are really cute, okay? I don't know why I'm getting like attractive, cute, stylish, okay, from you guys. Um, maybe even kind of like chic in the way that you present yourself. Um, but you guys have a certain like ideal, I don't know why I'm getting like a lot of you guys idealize like a certain look in, um men or women okay depending on you know whatever gender you identify with um but for example like some of you guys you might have like a crush on a celebrity like a male celebrity this is an example um and it's like you can't you can't like date somebody outside of that um look or certain like vibe or maybe like you guys i'm getting a lot of you guys had an ex in your past who was likely a fire sign um with the wands so aries sag leo in your past or this could be you as well um who was very very passionate uh, maybe very creative very like um uh, like maybe they were like the love of your life okay once upon a time but i'm getting that it's like you're either not letting go of this person like in some sense like you let go of them like physically but i'm getting somewhere deep inside it's like you compare everyone that you date to this ex or to this i don't know they could even be like a celebrity or someone that you just you just really look up to like whoever it is this could be anyone and you like compare everyone that you meet to this masculine energy i'm strongly getting this is a masculine energy um because this card is masculine um and this leads to heartbreak with the five of cups this is all about disappointment um disillusionment heartbreak and i'm getting that though i gotta commend you guys regardless of that you guys tend to come out on top a lot okay in your life choices and i know some of you guys are thinking like what are you talking about like i always make bad choices like maybe some of you guys you even think you're not in a very good place in your life right now but no um you can't be more than you can't be um wrong enough because i'm getting that a lot of you guys you have made great choices you guys have really taken care of yourselves and i think you guys have been through a lot with the five of cups some of you guys um maybe you guys are very like i'm getting you guys are very like empathic people like maybe you tend to be like a counselor for others or you you're kind of like the mediator or the peacemaker oftentimes um some of you guys you might even be like infp or infj okay um enneagram four okay but you know infp and infj is coming through really strongly okay in your mbti so like your psychology um but basically i am getting that some of you guys you might even like have let people take advantage of you in the past um because of maybe some kind of emotional or not emotional what is it uh like mindset around love okay that might have been that you might have seen okay throughout your life that wasn't the most healthy dynamic i mean obviously no dynamic is like 100 percent perfect but i'm getting maybe your family okay maybe this could even be an ancestral pattern or in your family like you grew up seeing um either like very dominant masculine energies uh dominant energies in general um you know whatever gender applies to you or you you know kind of grew up like i said idealizing a certain type of uh masculine energy or person that may not be right for you they may not be healthy for you this could be due to you know anything it could even be like maybe you grew up in the happiest family dynamic but um maybe this could even be through you know conditioning through like the media or movies or something i don't know it could it could be anything but um i am seeing here um a solution to that just right off the bat i'm getting would be to look outside of the box when it comes to this type of man i don't know why i'm getting machismo so like maybe some of you guys you can only really fall for a man who's kind of like 
machismo, like, um, like, what do you call it? Like, very, like, alpha, like, manly, like, dominant, like, I'm the man, and, you know, almost kind of domineering, but I'm getting that that has led you to heartbreak, or maybe even, uh, masculine energies who are very passionate, um, but they often aren't very grounded in their emotions. Like, maybe they are very, like, they're, they are very emotional, very sensitive, um, passionate, um, very direct, maybe even dominant, um, but in getting that, they weren't really grounded in, like, what they wanted, or, like, I'm getting so much Sagittarius, um, Leo Aries, obviously, as well, um, but I'm getting that these masculine energies weren't very grounded in, like, what they wanted, okay, in life in general, so it wasn't you, a lot of the times, it was definitely like you met a lot of masculine energies in your past that might have just not known what they wanted. And maybe you like blamed yourself and you thought like, oh, it's because of me, like there's something wrong with me. But it really wasn't. It was mainly due to the fact that they literally didn't know what they wanted in life, okay? Um, who, whoever you guys are that are holding on to an ex from the past or a certain type, you can try to let that go, okay? It's just, you know, I think you know, if this applies to some of you guys, like, knowing is the first step to, I think, like, changing and letting things go, so that's definitely something to consider, but you guys are definitely worth more than you think. You guys are, like, more attractive, more talented, more, um, you know, you, you're more valuable than you give yourself credit for, because we got the empress, okay? You guys are, if you guys, some of you guys have been dating, like, I don't know if I could say this, okay, on YouTube, but um, the current term I think that um, a lot of Gen Z and Millennials call it is, um, I think it's called F-Boys, okay? Some of you guys I see you've been dating F-Boys um, over and over, and it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with you. Like, you're not necessarily just attracting F-Boys um, because of you, who you are. I'm getting more so that it's the times, okay? It's the times, um, and some of you guys, this might even be just looking at this, oh my gosh, this is so clear, like F-boys, okay, through, uh, what is it, dating apps? Because literally, literally this is like a dating app uh, picture <laughs> profile. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, I'm seeing here, oh my God, those of you guys who have used dating apps for a while and it hasn't worked out, try just deleting your dating apps, okay? Like delete, your date, the dating app, all the dating apps that you're using, and try a different method. Let's try to figure out what that method is, okay? And, you know, whatever the case, like, this might resonate for those of you guys who aren't using dating apps or, you know, whatever the case is, but this is going to be, like, a broad, um, oh, wow. Okay, so we have the lovers. So with the lovers, you guys are going to be attracting multiple people. Um, the, the lovers, you know, it is about romance, but mainly it's the card of choice. So you guys are going to attract a lot of admirers, but the lovers is the card of Gemini. So I'm getting that you guys, it's kind of similar to the first pile. So you, some of you guys, you might want to check out pile one, two, if you're interested, but Gemini is the um, card about like networking. Okay. Like um, maybe even, you know, being set up. Okay. Like maybe being open to the idea of being set up or meeting people through people that you already know, like a friend of a friend, or maybe even like going out to network to meet new people. And I'm getting strongly that you guys have a high chance of meeting someone in like a close knit group situation. Or like when you go out to, I don't know why I'm seeing like an image of a social gathering, but it's like a small social gathering, not like a big, you know, overwhelming social gathering with like, um, like 50 people or anything like that. But this is just like a small, like social gathering. I strongly see you guys like meeting the love of your life, maybe even a couple or more kind of like pile one, um, at a small social gathering. Okay. Or maybe even like a networking sort of an event or some kind of professional event or, you know, some kind of like social event that, um, involves hobbies, okay, uh, common hobbies, but it's going to be like a small sort of cozy event, okay, is more so what I'm getting than like a big event, okay, so let's get further into some more information, okay, let's see if we can get more information for group two, please, so we have admire, yeah, you guys, some of you guys, you are admired a lot by a lot of people, by Okay, that just sounded weird. Okay, you are admired more than you think by a lot of people. This could even be um, 
you know, whether it's masculine or feminine energies, you guys attract a lot of admiration. Like I said, you guys are more attractive than you think, more talented, more charming, and more valuable than you give yourself credit for. And a lot of this, I gotta say, has to do with um, the fact that you're mysterious, but you are also very attractive. So yeah, definitely give yourself credit, okay, where it's due. Um, you guys haven't been getting giving yourself credit. You guys have been kind of, I'm getting like, I don't know why I'm getting like insecurity um, due to previous experiences that really had nothing to do with you when it comes to the outcome. It has more to do with the times or like a pattern that has to do with the times and then like certain masculine energies that you've been... Um, uh, seeing or whatnot who just don't know what they want due to their own thing going on okay so please pile two like give like give yourself not give yourself what is it um allow yourself to feel more confident okay um because you guys really deserve it you guys are very charming people and i'm getting that some of you guys kind of like pile one you are meant to fall in love okay um so much so that, like I said, you're going to be getting a lot of options. Um, and look out for like a social gathering that is small. Um, I don't know why that's coming through so, so strongly. Or like a cozy environment. Because you know when you think of like a social gathering that's like small and cozy, you think of like a cozy environment. So maybe this could even be like a little coffee shop or like a little, like a cute little bookstore or somewhere that just feels cozy where you don't feel overwhelmed and you're just like in a light kind of energy light and peaceful that's when you guys might meet um maybe even more than one person okay in environments like that so definitely look out for that and then we have the ace of clovers wow this is just this is very similar to um what is it pile one actually but i'm getting here that some of you guys you are really meant to be with someone who's very protective okay who I, i'm getting strongly that a lot of you guys you might end up with someone who is who is very responsible who might have kind of a high position okay at wherever they whatever they do it's like um they're the top in their industry um they're very intelligent they're very protective um they might not even have you know, a job that makes a lot of money, but like materially, but they have a heart of gold and you're going to feel very safe around this person. This person is going to be, I'm strongly getting very masculine. Okay. Uh, but not in a way that's domineering or like machismo or that feels very like, um, I don't know how to describe it, like douchey, okay, can I say that? This is going to be more like masculine in a way that's like responsible, tried and true, like they are going to be around like through thick and thin and support you, um, a very protective person, okay, is what I'm getting, you're going to feel so calm and safe around this person, so wow, that's like, that's, oh my gosh, that came, I got like chills, you guys, okay, so let's roll the dice and see what astrological correspondences might be, for you guys okay so here we have gemini oh my gosh and we got the card of gemini some of you guys you might have gemini the other person might have gemini but i'm surely getting this is more from you but you know whatever um resonates and then here we have pisces okay so creativity some of you guys you are extremely creative like you might you might be like artists or you work in like visual arts or you guys might even be like dancers or there's something to do with like photography as well um if you guys haven't explored that um maybe try exploring like a creative field okay um maybe further because i'm getting a lot of you guys you are already creative and you're really talented with the arts okay so definitely don't be afraid to um, pursue these things okay interesting you might even meet somebody in an industry that is creative or that's something that you're passionate about maybe you're not even like a quote-unquote creative type but whatever you're passionate about is important okay and then here we have neptune but this is also about creativity dreaminess um, some of you guys, like I said, you are very creative, you're dreamy, you are very sensitive, empathic people. I'm also getting, um, be careful of who you give your energy to. Be careful, be, I don't want to say be careful, that sounds like very fear-based. I guess what I mean is really keep in mind, um, like what kind of environments you put yourself in, kind of like pile one. Very interesting how it's so similar to that pile. But also, um, be conscious of 
who you give your energy to because in the past i'm getting that you guys um have given your energy to the wrong people not because you were you know don't think of yourself as like oh yeah like that's me like making a mistake think of it as more like a learning experience i know that's cliche um but like i said like the love of your life is going to be amazing and you guys really deserve this you guys are really good people like um you guys are very i'm getting like warm um empathic okay like mediators you um you're good at g giving advice as well i'm getting um yeah just definitely um i don't know why i'm hearing also like give yourself a break some of you guys you're um kind of like you kind of like beat yourself up sometimes i'm getting um with like self-talk that might be a little negative um you guys don't give yourself enough credit you guys are amazing souls i can like feel the vibes okay you guys are very like warm-hearted um you know heart of gold and you know because you guys have a heart of gold um i'm getting you guys deserve somebody with a heart of gold as well um i'm also strongly getting that you guys are very naturally feminine so i don't know why i had to tell you guys or i feel like i have to tell you guys like um don't be afraid to like play up that femininity um you know like um I don't want to say like traditional femininity necessarily but just you know whatever makes you feel feminine attractive romantic okay like don't be afraid to like play that up okay because you guys are very feminine and it's actually very like attractive like more than you realize um yeah i'm getting like soft feminine very like um i'm getting the color pink uh lavender um like peachy colors um there's something to do with that's sort of like soft feminine like energy okay libra taurus is coming through as well okay so that was beautiful like comment subscribe share if this re resonated with you guys um group two and i just want to remind you guys to please hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted when i upload new videos such as this one so i will see you guys later group two love and light um and with that i'm going to be moving straight into group three so group three let's get into group three so here we have group three those of you guys who've chosen this deck here and then this beautiful uh omega watch Ooh, stunning okay so let's get into your reading um actually before that hold on one second i'm gonna take um a sip of my tea really quick pardon me you guys so let's get into your reading so why are you guys still single or why are you guys single why are you guys single right now please give us some insight okay we have the queen of swords damn dang you guys okay i can already tell uh from this queen of swords you guys are very like high achievers if you're not if you don't think of yourself as a high achiever like no that's not me like that was never me think again you guys because you have the potential to really go to high places in life to really some of you if you're not like in a corporate setting like some of you guys you're just meant to thrive in settings that involve like achievement business this might not even have to do with like corporate settings maybe some of you guys you always wanted to have your own business or be an entrepreneur you guys are meant to really thrive in being successful okay in a material sense or even in you know maybe some of you guys you are pursuing higher education like um like a graduate degree or something like that but you guys are very intelligent and you're very very tough not to be messed with um i don't know why i'm hearing that some of you guys you are a lot like or reminiscent of um in 10 things i hate about you there was um this there were the, uh, these two characters. I believe the male character was Heath Ledger. And then the female character was played by um, Julia Stiles. You guys are just like Julia Stiles. I'm getting a lot of you guys in 10 Things I Hate About You. So it's kind of like an old like 90s, I think, um, like rom-com. It's like a teen rom-com. But um, you guys might want to look up 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, and you'll see like the trailer or, you know, like Julia Stiles, like how she thinks of love or romance in general it's very reminiscent of like straight up queen of swords um also 
oh my gosh i'm just channeling like crazy right now but bear with me um also jane austen's pride and prejudice if you guys haven't read the book or seen the movie i recommend looking up the trailer okay or maybe even reading the book um but yeah in that uh book and movie um well let's just talk about the movie uh kira knightley's character you guys are a lot like her um but maybe even a more like tough version where you guys have a lot of walls up okay um but let's get further into it into this this was just like the first card and it got so much energy some of you guys you have oh my god look at this the sun oh my god this is beautiful you guys uh, okay let's get some more cards i'm getting like an amazing energy from this pile like so good okay and then we got nine of cups we got the ten of swords and then we have the page of pentacles Okay, so I'm strongly getting from this pile that I'm strongly getting from this pile that you guys have a lot of walls up. Um, you guys are very intelligent, very um, you have the potential to be extremely successful, okay? Um, if you ever heard the term girl boss, I don't mean like the the trope that like everybody throws around. I mean like for real, like girl boss. Um, some of you guys, if you're masculine, you can, you know, flip the energies, whatever resonates. But a lot of you guys, you tend to block yourself, I think, from love because I'm getting some of you guys are kind of cynical. Um, like in, you know, 10 things that I hate about you. I think that's actually based on Taming of the Shrew by Shakespeare. So some of you guys, you might want to even look up, you know, Taming of the Shrew. I'm not saying that you guys are quote unquote shrew or whatever. Um, but I am here getting that some of you guys, you can be a little cold when it comes to how you see romance or love. Um, you're a little detached from it. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Not at all. But I am getting that there, you might be better off, um, letting go of your sword okay sometimes like I, i'm getting some of you guys you you always have your sword up the sword can represent your mind okay uh represents like mental acuity like intelligence but you guys you always have like a sword up maybe your mind is always alert um or maybe this could even be like your defenses okay i'm strongly getting you have your defenses up a lot maybe you guys have been hurt in the past or maybe it's just like maybe that's just your mindset you know it doesn't necessarily have to do with conditioning or even the way you grew up it could have to do with it but a lot of it i think is just like the way you are um you're just naturally kind of like tough and you are maybe like cynical and getting a lot of you guys you're more like mind over heart there's nothing wrong with that but like i said the boundaries that you put up it's kind of like you know, if you don't want to be single, um, but let's say you are a princess and you like put yourself in a tower and that tower is like surrounded by like, um, what is it, like a moat and then it's also surrounded by like, um, a gate, like a giant gate, you know, with like barbed wire, obviously. Um, like I know you're like doing that for your own safety. This is just an analogy. Um, but you know, how is anyone going to get in, get in, okay, to like meet you? How is anyone going to like really meet the true, the real you? Um, if you have all of these, like, walls up, or I'm getting so, like, you always have your guard up, okay? Um, you are very intelligent, though, I gotta say. Um, a lot of you guys are intelligent. You're very, like, tough. You're very ambitious, okay? Um, you guys have a very strong mind, mindset. Yeah, with the sun, I'm getting, I don't know why I'm hearing you guys. Let in the sun, okay? Let in the sun. Allow yourself to to i don't know why i'm getting an image of like this beautiful bird um that has like these beautiful feathers um but the bird it's like the bird chooses to be inside of a cage um and it's kind of by choice it's like the cage doesn't even have a door maybe like it's like an open door or maybe no door at all it's just like a cage that you know the bird can willingly um fly in and out of but it's like the bird chooses to be inside the cage um because they want to be protected, like maybe from the world or from pain or maybe from heartbreak. Um, but if they don't leave the cage, um, it may be a little scary to leave the cage. Always be safe, you guys, obviously. But um, if the bird never leaves the cage, then they will never allow themselves to meet that person that they want to meet or their soulmate or whatever it is, like your other half partner, you know, um, maybe even just like a practical relationship if that's what you want. And you don't really believe in romance, you know, who knows? Um, 
you gotta like allow yourself to see the sun to feel the sun to you know immerse yourself in the sun <clears throat> obviously if you go too close to the sun you will get burned but um this isn't about that this is about allowing the sun to really nurture you okay to really allow yourself to blossom <clears throat> in a beautiful way and um this sun i'm he seeing here this <clears throat> excuse me this has a lot to do with with be more vulnerable okay maybe even this could be like more vulnerable with the people around you that you're close to putting yourself in new environments that you're normally kind of afraid not because of like a safety problem but more so because like you're afraid of the way you might be perceived or like you're afraid of like getting rejected or something um, put yourself in environments that like push you out of your comfort zone like this could even be like environments that you felt like um like i can't fit into that environment or i don't know i'm intimidated by that environment like try it out okay i'm getting and like you know be genuine and vulnerable and if you don't necessarily get everything that you want out of the experience at least you will learn something and i guarantee you you will walk away with something okay it's strongly what i'm getting and with the Ten of Swords and Page of Pentacles, I'm getting strongly that some of you guys, you, like I said, um, yeah, you're letting, you need to let go of the walls, okay, with the Ten of Swords that you built up, okay, um, by being more vulnerable, you know, putting yourself in situations that's like outside of your comfort zone, um, being more genuine, being more open and vulnerable and being more of your authentic self is so important it is so important okay especially right now i'm getting the page of pentacles some of you guys like i said those of you guys who are extremely high achievers there's a little workaholism here or maybe even like prioritizing work over love or maybe this could even be like choosing people who do that but i'm more so getting a lot of you guys you need to let go of um constantly feeling like you are the strong one i don't know why i'm hearing for so many of you guys it's like either life or maybe it's just who you are or the way you were conditioned or you know whatever it was life circumstances put you in a mindset where you constantly feel like i have to be the strong one like i have to be the resilient person that like holds up everyone you know the uh the fort like i have to be the one that carries all the burdens and you know the strong one but i'm strongly getting here that that's blocking you from love that's not healthy okay like balance is healthy and that's not balance like when you're the one who has to be the strongest one at least in your mind or like um like i have to carry all the burdens for everyone else like that's definitely not healthy and some of you guys you will be successful in love once you let go of those burdens and i think a lot of you guys if this ring a bell for you like you're gonna know exactly what those are okay that you need to let go of or at least like lighten the load i don't know why i keep hearing lighten the load so that you could allow space for love okay um interesting and also like some of you guys i gotta just be honest like you kind of um maybe forgot i don't want to say forgot this sounds kind of like harsh but um, i'm just gonna be honest some of you guys you really forgot what it feels like to be um a woman or like a feminine okay and once again flip the genders whatever resonates but a lot of you guys out there forgot to like you forgot what it feels like to be feminine okay romantic like to pamper yourself to really take care of yourself in a way that is like that just resonates self-love because that is so important i'm getting that a lot of you guys can benefit from yeah like pampering yourself treating yourself and i have to tell you guys some of you guys group three you don't have to be the strong one okay that is not your job okay no one was put on this earth to you know carry everyone else's burden or be the strongest person okay that's not your burden to bear okay and it's also not healthy okay um some of you guys you need to focus on yourself treat yourself okay once in a while um it's okay to pamper yourself to do that extra like you know skincare treatment or you know do a little extra what is it um you know like just do something nice for yourself okay it's okay to do this um oh my god this is coming through so strongly so let's see what else we have i'm going to be pulling you actually i'm going to be pulling you some more cards to see what else we can get from this <gasps> partnership 
Okay, yeah, you guys are... I'm also seeing here that you guys are going to need <laughs> group three, um, a partner that is just as strong as you are, if not more. If someone like let's say you go on a date and you can already tell the person sitting across from you, let's say they're a masculine energy, like you can tell that they're not as resilient and not as strong as you. It's not going to work. And I think some of you guys already know this without me even having to say this. Um, but you guys need someone who's strong. Like you know that they will be there through thick and thin. They're just as strong, just as resilient, just as dependable as you are. And you guys deserve this. Okay, you guys deserve that. So don't settle, okay, is what I'm strongly getting. Um, do not settle because I'm, I'm hearing that if you guys settle, it's only going to set you back, okay? So, and it's also important to, I don't know why I'm hearing, it's important to, when you're looking for what you truly want, it's really important, I'm getting, to, to, like, if you know that the person that you are dating or that you, like, went on a date with isn't the one, like, don't hesitate just like cut it off like literally the queen of swords um the good thing about the queen of swords is swords energy is that she the queen of swords doesn't hesitate like when she knows deep down in her heart like this isn't for me this isn't working for me she doesn't hesitate she doesn't like sit there thinking about it for like days like should i like see this person again or not like literally if you know deep down in your heart and your intuition like no like this guy's not it cut it off and move on fast okay because the more you like hesitate and like linger and like i don't know this you know like make excuses for that person that you just know deep down inside isn't it for you the more you're wasting your time and the more you're holding yourself back from meeting the person who is actually for you okay i'm feeling very passionate about this you guys but it's coming through so strongly and then we have the two of wands so yeah exactly with the partnership card you guys aren't meant to settle. You guys are meant to meet that person who really, I don't know why I'm hearing like, they see you as an equal, okay? This is like a partnership that's so strong. It's, you know, there's a lot of mutual respect. I don't know why I'm hearing some of you guys, you've been having trouble meeting somebody who you feel like really respects you or like sees you as an equal or really, you know, you know, because relationships are about give and take. And I'm strongly getting that you weren't really receiving that, whether it's like energetically or whatever it is. Um, but I'm strongly getting no, like, don't settle. Don't ever settle group three because you guys are meant to meet that person who you know is, like, your equal partner or the person who, like, really sees you as a partner, okay? Respects you. Um, and I'm also strongly getting that you guys, you know, one thing that's really charming about you guys that maybe you haven't realized yet is, um, is that you guys actually are very nurturing people. Like maybe you never thought of yourself. I mean, Queen of Swords, you wouldn't really think of as nurturing, but she is fiercely nurturing to the people that she cares about. Um, so you guys, like, I think harness that, those feelings of like nurturing, like maybe um, think about adopting, you know, a kitten or a puppy, okay? Or maybe even, you know, maybe even get like, a plant or maybe get some plants okay and like nurture those plants i'm strongly getting for a lot of you guys you're going to really see a glow up in your love life when you not only um once again pamper yourself and really pamper and grow your femininity um and you know romantic vibes but i'm also getting that you guys are really going to glow up in your love life okay when you start nurturing things like not just nurturing your femininity but nurturing something okay whether that is a plant you know, an animal, like maybe even, you know, your own femininity, like nurturing your own growth when it comes to being vulnerable, more genuine, more authentic in the way you live life, like allowing yourself to authentically express emotions. And I don't mean like manically, like, you know, uh, like what is it? Emotional diarrhea. What I mean is like, you know, just being confident enough to really express yourself genuinely with the walls down, you know, put the sword down, okay, um, it, you know, just try, try it out, um, and yeah, like, be more authentic, more true to yourself, um, and also honor your feelings, honor your emotions, because I'm strongly getting that a lot of you guys struggle or struggled in the past a lot with not honoring your own emotions, okay, um, and intuition is it's not just from the mind okay sometimes it comes from like a feelings place okay like your heart and i'm strongly getting that 
just to put it frankly, um, there's been a bit of an imbalance in your mind and heart. Like maybe you're putting too much mind over heart, but I'm strongly getting, yeah, value your, the feelings that come out of your heart as well. Um, because that's a different kind of intuition than the mind. And I think you really need to value that as well because that is equally important. Okay, so I'm going to be grabbing another card for you guys to try to get more information. Please give us some more information. Okay, so we have the Fool. So with the Fool, this card is about spontaneity. This is also about Aries, Uranus. Okay, so some of you guys, you might uh, have Aquarius or Aries in your astrology or, you know, maybe even like uh, somebody in your future, like in your love life might be Aries or um, Aquarius, but there is a strong energy of, you know, being more spontaneous, like going for something new, you know, following the heart Okay, sometimes not all about, you know, thinking and overthinking and like your mind, but, you know, kind of letting that go sometimes, letting the sword down, okay? And, um, you know, going with your emotions more. And I don't mean just like on a whim, like, oh, I feel like doing this today, but, you know, I'm not really sure. I mean more like what you know from like deep down, like something that you feel, um, whether that's through your feelings, your emotions, um, deep down inside, okay? Um, following that uh, part of your intuition more. And there's something to do with being more spontaneous, okay? Because the fool is all about being more spontaneous, new beginnings, not be able, not being afraid to try new things and be spontaneous. And once again, um, you know, prioritizing your heart, okay, over like really valuing your emotions and your own feelings, even if they might feel trivial, okay? Don't tell yourself. Um, okay, my emotions are dumb or they don't matter or, you know, I, I should be more focused on things that matter because you know what, like if you don't do that, not prioritizing your emotions, your genuine feelings and your authentic self can, like I said, lead to lead to really being disconnected from what truly matters in life. Okay. Um, yeah. So I definitely want to, I, I want to stress that. So let's see. Let's see what astrological correspondences we can get. So speaking of Aries with the Fool card. So we have Aries, we have Cancer, um, and then we also have Saturn. So yeah, you guys, ooh, Aries and Saturn, you guys are high achievers. If you haven't already achieved a lot in life, you guys are meant to achieve so much, okay? And you guys are also meant to be with someone, end up with someone who is your equal partner, who sees you as equal, okay, who's just as strong as you are, if not more, okay, so don't settle, and once again, don't hesitate when you know, like, okay, this person isn't for me, like, next, like, move on, like, do not even hesitate for a minute, like, if you know deep down inside, um, do not settle, okay, is what I'm getting, and yeah, we have Aries, and then we have Cancer, so like I said, some of you guys, even though you're high achieving, and maybe ambitious, maybe you haven't even tapped into that part of yourself yet, but even if those things are there, got a lot of walls up, you know, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, you guys still have a very nurturing element to you with uh, Cancer here, because Cancer is the most nurturing zodiac sign, so definitely um, tap into that feeling of nurturing, okay, um, like I said, maybe adopt a pet, Okay, maybe um, get some plants that are, you know, relatively easy to nurture, okay, and start nurturing those things. Nurture yourself, nurture anything, okay, um, maybe even doing something creative because that involves creativity and, like, nurturing something to life, okay, um, baking as well. Baking is actually very therapeutic. Um, that can also lead to um, a feeling, you know, vibes of nurturing because you are, you know, baking, you're like uh, patiently, peacefully creating something and then it like turns into manifest itself into like, you know, this beautiful, you know, bread or cookies or whatever it is. Um, and that's what you want to do is kind of like get into that um, vibe of like nurturing and creation, okay? Because that is really going to give you a glow up in your love life. Um, in more ways than one i'm seeing so like comment subscribe share if this video resonated with you guys group three and i just want to remind you guys to please hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted when i upload new videos such as this one so i will see you guys later group three love and light and with that i'm going to move, be moving straight into group four okay so group four we have 
this pile here and then we have this uh, beautiful let's see what kind of watch is this oh Seiko okay so we have this beautiful Seiko watch here okay so gorgeous okay so let's see what uh, oh excuse me uh, why are you still single group four Group four, why are you guys still single? Let's figure it out. Okay, so we here we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, already painting a very clear picture, but let's get into it, old, um, shall we? Okay, and then we have the Six of Swords. Yep, yep, yep. And then we have, ooh, we have the Page of Swords. Okay, yep. So clear as day. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right. So I actually want to grab another card for you guys because from the bottom. Okay, and then we have the King of Cups. Finally, yes. Okay, so that was kind of like a breakthrough energy there. So, interesting. You guys, you guys have quite a lot of experience with love. Even if you haven't, okay, you are meant to have quite a few interesting experiences. Um, either soon or in the next few years, okay. But I am strongly getting that. You guys are very sensitive people. You guys can be very kind, okay, very accepting, but you also have, you know, your standards, pretty high standards as well. Um, but I am strongly getting you guys are single because you have, I gotta say, kind of been, I don't want to say like targeted, that sounds kind of um, negative, but you have been approached, okay, by let's say masculine energies this could be you know any kind of energy whatever resonates but you guys have been approached by a lot of ener masculine energies who might see you as a bit naive um you guys are really attractive as well so that might attract like all kinds of people um but let me just say this um when there's a really bright beautiful flame it attracts you know a lot of things um it also illuminates okay the area around it like a halo effect um some of you guys are very attractive or you have like this glow like a halo because of your energy it's very like angelic um i don't know why i am immediately channeling either like miranda kerr miranda kerr like that victoria's secret model like her energy kind of reminds me of this or um or even selena gomez okay i don't know why but it's like the vibes of like either selena gomez or like miranda kerr or um or even like hmm. okay let's just stick to those for now but um i'm getting this energy you guys are very 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 you have like an angelic vibe okay but it also makes people leads people to believe that you're very naive and a lot of people I'm, I'm getting you attract a lot of people who want something from you not because you seem naive or like you're gonna i mean you do seem a bit naive but not because they think you're like dumb but because you seem like you have a lot to offer so whether that's because of your looks or your charm or your talents or whatever it is like you attract a lot of people that are going to want things from you you know whether that's the wrong things okay or to like further themselves okay so a lot of you guys um for this pile in particular i'm getting that you guys are going to have to be careful like who you trust okay and i don't mean to become like hyper paranoid or anything like that but just um make sure that you guys maintain your boundaries like maybe even write a list of like you know things that you just absolute things like five things that you absolutely will not put up with when it comes to your personal relationships whether that's in love whether you know whatever it is um just write down like five things because you guys i'm strongly getting that people want to like test your boundaries more than other people because they really really want like this treasure that they see it's almost like there's like a treasure map and it like circulates okay and like everybody wants that treasure on the treasure map you it's like you are the treasure map almost it's i know it's kind of weird but like um you know bear with me but it's like you guys are that treasure map and 
it's very promising okay and like everybody wants that treasure this could be anything um but like i said you guys are remarkably attractive i'm getting some of you guys you might even be like instagram famous you might have um, modeled okay in the past um you guys might have been like dancers or you know somewhere in the public eye where like you had to like p perform in front of others you guys are very attractive talented charming um, very beautiful and also there's like a halo effect around you where you have like this angelic energy and um, you know the halo effect is when that's how people view celebrities as like angels or oh they're so angelic they can do no wrong but that also once again like I said leads a lot of masculine energies um, especially to believe that you're naive because maybe like they see you and they're like oh she's so like perfect or you know attractive but she also looks like she hasn't had a very hard life okay i'm getting for a lot of you guys this might resonate and so they see you as naive like oh yeah she's gonna like fall from you know this and that and you know whatever so i don't want to say be careful who you trust but just make sure that you have your boundaries in place and you won't have to be like hyper uh vigilant or anything like that okay as long as you have your boundaries and you're firm in your boundaries like you know your boundaries and you stick to them okay even if it's just like five things like i said that you list that you won't put up with um you guys have like disney princess energy i'm sorry i gotta say a lot of you guys maybe you kind of resemble like um like a disney princess like your facial features or like an anime character something about you maybe it's even just your vibe like you kind of seem like a disney princess or um, like you're the type that has like I think like really perfect hair or like perfect nails or like perfect makeup just <laughs> very perfect but then like you know that attracts like everyone not just like people who mean well but that's going to also attract uh, masculine energies or whatever energies that like want something from you because they like want a piece of that vibe or that light that you give out it's very like angelic okay like speaking of angels i don't know why i channeled like miranda kerr earlier as well as um as well as like angels so like victoria's secret i don't know why i'm here some of you guys you look great in like lingerie okay because i was channeling angels and then victoria's secret so um you guys look great in lingerie okay some of you guys just know that i don't know a little compliment okay just came through just channeling that but i'm strongly getting that in the past, I see that you guys have been approached by a lot of masculine energies. If not, you will be approached. Okay, just wait a little bit. It'll happen. Um, but like I said, keep your boundaries um, up. Or not up, excuse me. Um, like know your boundaries and stick to them because there's, like I said, you attract a lot of people who like want something from you. And they might even have presented themselves in a way where like, um, they either, what is it, like, try to gaslight you or try to, like, love bomb you. If those of you guys who haven't heard of the term love bombing, it basically means, like, when a narcissistic person or somebody who wants something from you approaches you, whatever that is, and they present themselves in a way that is not authentic, like, almost like they're, you know, being theatrical and, like, playing a role, okay, in a movie or a play. Like, they might even, like, dress the way that, um, you know, they see as like women really like this or whatever and like present themselves, you know, in a way with all the bells, bells and whistles as something that they're not, okay? So there has been a lot of this energy in your past, not because there's anything wrong with you necessarily, more so it's because, like I said, you give off that like angelic vibe and let's just be real, if an angel, you know, fell from the sky, they're gonna be naive because they haven't seen like all the um, nitty gritty like ugliness of life and how, you know, there's a lot of people out there who like, um, I mean, there's a lot of great people out there too, just like you guys, but I'm also getting that there's a lot of people out there who are like scavengers and they're gonna like want things, okay? Like light always attracts moths, okay? I'm not saying moths are bad, but you know, it's an analogy. Or, um, nevertheless okay you guys like i said you guys have an angelic vibe and even if you're not naive people see you as naive and that's why maybe you might be approached more by these kinds of masculine energies i'm seeing um we got like page and knight is very masculine energy um but i'm strongly seeing that they might approach you more thinking you're more naive because your face like maybe you look oh i didn't mean to say that okay say it like the way that i said it but you know your face might be more 
kind of like angel vibes. I don't know how to explain it. Like more like doe eyed. Okay, like wide eyed. Like your eyes are like wide set or they're very like doe wide. Like you just have that maybe like long eyelashes. You kind of even maybe like resemble a deer or like a kitten. Okay, um, you guys really have faces that are very attractive. Um, just like objectively. Okay, but um, like I said, you guys have a naive kind of look and it's also kind of reminding me of that movie enchanted when that like disney princess like for some reason she like stepped out of a cartoon somehow like magically and then she like entered like modern day new york city or something and then she she was just like really naive and like singing and stuff and then you know a lot of people were you know were like oh my gosh like she seems naive but once again i'm not getting that you're necessarily naive but you kind of appear that way maybe because of like you have like that look of being like really innocent or doe-eyed or wide set eyes or like i said like um the energy of kind of like a deer um like a doe or like a um like a disney princess you know basically you kind of have that look maybe or something about your vibe um and that or like an angel and that's going to invite people who um approach you maybe for the wrong reasons but yeah basically that's what i'm seeing here is that you might have i'm i'm sorry you guys this is so sad but um i'm seeing that in the past especially maybe you've been approached by a lot of masculine energies who like pretend to be something they're not and then you found out that they were not what they portrayed themselves as and that led to a lot of heartbreak i'm getting um but you guys have done the work okay you guys you have healed you have come a long way so i do want to say please pat yourself on the back give yourself a hug really compliment yourself okay because you guys have really healed and come a long way um you know this might not even be about this all of this happened that i just described but it could even be that you have felt taken advantage of by a lot of people because they might think you're naive in some way maybe like i said you had that like um sort of naive innocent look about you um but i am seeing here that you guys have healed a lot you've come a long way and there's something really important about like i said like getting more familiar with your boundaries and sticking to them and then here we have the king of cups and this is about a really emotional sensitive masculine energy who is awaiting in your future so this could be a scorpio pisces or cancer or maybe someone who just has like watery energy um, or a lot of water <laughs> in their astrological chart sun moon rising venus mars jupiter this could be you as well this is going to be someone who is more in tune with emotions okay sensitive they might be creative um they might have a really big heart um i'm also getting this is someone oh my god i'm strongly getting i don't know why specifically this is like so specific for, for some of you guys this person is going to be uh, like a cancer moon okay or someone who has cancer in their astrology but they are a masculine energy or this could be as well um but this person is going to have you know like a cancer what is it like a hermit crab okay cancer the crab is a crab that has like a hard shell exterior but like a soft squishy interior so um for a lot of you guys out there i'm strongly getting or at least some of you guys grew for that your soulmate or the person that you're destined to really end up with like if you ever meet them like the love of your life is someone who kind of has that vibe of like a hard sort of a hard exterior um they don't really show their emotions very well but on the inside they are such a big softy and this person especially is going to have such soft feelings for you like they're going to be like putty in your hands okay um i don't know why i'm also getting like um mr darcy okay in pride and prejudice because he's just like you know like cancer like a cr cancer crab you know he has like a hard shell exterior doesn't really show his emotions um you know elizabeth she had no idea that he was even into her in pride and prejudice um but then mark darcy like one day he just like confesses okay um and he just like turns to putty because he's overwhelmed by emotions and love for elizabeth so i'm strongly getting yeah this person that you're meant to meet in the future it could even play out like uh, mark darcy and elizabeth bennett kind of a situation um like at a group event okay and maybe you could start out as friends but it could turn into something more 
I'm also strongly getting like um, a lot of you guys are going to benefit a lot, a lot, a lot from being friends with somebody first and really getting to know who they are first before even considering dating them. Because like I said, you guys are very beautiful, um, very charming. You guys have like this natural inner light that is very like, it's like an angelic halo and you guys need to protect that. Okay. Um, that's definitely coming through here. So let's see what else we have. Yeah. Okay. So we have wound. So those people that you are attracting, I'm getting this energy where they might even be jealous of your light or they want what you have, whatever it is. And this doesn't have to be like, um, you know, wanting to look like you or whatever, but it could be like a masculine energy, jealous maybe that they can't have you or jealous that they could never quite possess you the way they want. I'm getting some possessive energy, okay, as well. Um, I'm also getting maybe some jealousy around the fact that um, you attract looks or attention from other masculine energies. So avoid possessive energies, okay? Um, overly possessive energies is not going to serve you. So I'm strongly getting to stay away from people like that. Don't hesitate, just like move on. If you sense like this person is possessive, just leave. Like don't even like, obviously be safe about it, but don't even linger, don't hesitate because you deserve more than that and you don't deserve, they don't deserve your time or energy. Um, and then we have explore. Okay, so we're seeing a lot of lights here, a new city. So I'm strongly getting here that some of you guys, you might benefit from traveling or like exploring a new environment. Um, this is reminding me of pile one a little bit as well, um, but I'm strongly getting that, yeah, some of you guys, you might benefit from, um, you know, traveling or like going, going to like try, maybe even like a new food or, you know, um, something, something new, okay? Um, some of you guys, you might benefit from this. Um, or putting yourself in a new environment where you don't normally see yourself going. Obviously be safe though. I gotta really say be safe, okay? Um, and then we have perception. So yeah, you guys have, I think maybe always attracted a lot of looks, maybe because you have a unique look, you're attractive. Maybe like I said, you modeled. Maybe some of you guys, you were even, um, you had a lot, like a lot of people had a crush on you, okay? In school or growing up or wherever you go, you get a lot of looks, okay? Maybe even now. I'm strongly getting that you guys get a lot of attention, hence the um, sort of possessiveness from people that you dated in the past. It really wasn't healthy, okay, on their part, but they were jealous that maybe you were attracting attention or other suitors or other, you know, people that are interested in you, okay? Yeah, okay, and then we have the Seven of Swords. So I'm strongly getting that some of you guys, you might... Yeah, just be conscious and aware that you guys do attract... a evil light energy um maybe you kind of have this image like i said of like a disney princess or you're so perfect or you got everything and you're kind of like naive and um very like perfect i don't know like maybe you guys aren't even perfect but maybe you portray yourself in a way that almost or presents your present yourself in a way or maybe you don't even do anything maybe you're just being you like authentically genuinely you as a person but then other people perceive you as like having everything or being perfect at least from the outside looking in but they don't really know the real you i'm strongly getting um just know that you are admired by a lot of people kind of like a celebrity um but that once again celebrities even though they're adored and admired adored and admired they also attract evil eye energy and jealousy so just just be wary of the fact that you guys attract so much energy okay or so um much attention and don't shy away from it, but definitely don't um, ignore the fact that that perception can go both ways and you have to protect um, what you have, okay? Um, and protect yourself from any like negative, like low vibe energies is crucial, okay? Um, because you want to, ooh, because you want to avoid uh, meeting someone who is gonna waste your time or take away your time and energy. Um, and that might even get away, get in the way of you meeting this person that you're meant to be with, okay? So when you know it's not it, just like next, like don't even hesitate, okay? Um, and then we have the nine of diamonds. So yeah, like you guys are meant to be with somebody though that like pampers you, that adores you, but that also allows you to respect your boundaries. You're gonna know when you've met this person that you're meant to be with, that you really, really click with, whoever this person is, 
when they really respect your emotions, they listen, they really um, are make a make an effort to be conscious of the way you feel okay in a lot of situations and also they respect your boundaries that's like a huge thing okay and they also treat you with respect and but more than anything they really um give you space okay to be who you genuinely authentically are and they don't like project onto you okay so that's another way that you're going to recognize this person is they allow you to be you um and they also really passionately respect your boundaries okay um and not only that but they respect you in general and they really honor your feelings okay honoring your feelings okay it's coming through so strongly um but you are meant to meet somebody like that for sure but definitely don't waste time with people when you know deep down they're just not it um don't settle which is kind of what i told another pile as well so you might want to check out any other pile okay if you're interested so i'm going to be rolling the dice to see what astrological energies might correspond okay so here we have here the sun wow okay yeah high visibility um i think yeah okay so we got capricorn and then we have here leo whoa whoa, whoa. okay so so much sun energy so like i said a lot of you guys you might have leo the person you're meant to be with might have leo but leo is coming through really strong sun energy leo is ruled by the sun um so anywhere in your sun moon rising venus mars jupiter you might have a lot of leo but nevertheless leo represents high visibility okay like a lot of people you attract a lot of attention whether you know it or not maybe this could even be like through social media or something um but yeah, um, anyone who attracts a lot of um, attention or is seen by a lot of people, this could even be like, you know, Leo represents like royalty or like um, being a celebrity or something like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, celebrities, they attract a lot of attention, but you also got to be, you know, have your boundaries up where you can't just allow like anyone to, you know, just like encroach on your boundaries or, um, you know, like know everything about you okay and then with capricorn i'm getting that a lot of you guys the person that you end up with like they're going to be a very mature person and i'm getting a lot of like dual energy like cancer and capricorn and that's just like so indicative of somebody like a masculine energy who has a little bit of a hard guarded exterior where they don't really show their emotions they're very reserved maybe but um inside they are like putty in your hands they are like crazy over you they really you know like i said emotional sensitive all of those things on the inside so yeah that was beautiful you guys so like comment subscribe share if this video resonated with you guys group four and please hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted when i upload new videos just like this one so I'll see you guys later group four love and light